A good chowder works for all seasons and every occasion. It'll be a fun part of tonight's snacking supper. I think I'll serve the chowder in mugs. That way it's easy for us to eat our soup and still play charades at the same time. I'm packing this chowder with loads of vegetables. But the general rule for a chowder is it must have bacon, potatoes, and milk. So I've just cooked up some bacon here, nice and crisp. Set that aside for later. I'll use the dripping to saute the mirepoix, the flavor builder, onions, celery, and carrots. Mmm, that combination is one of my favorite cooking smells. In addition to the flavor building vegetables already in the pot, I'm using broccoli and zucchini. Pretty much every chowder variation I make, whether it's seafood, vegetable, or chicken, I always add red pepper for color. Now, I'll add my softer vegetables. The carrot, onion, celery mixture takes a little longer to cook. These I just need to soften up. and healthy at the same time. Of course, requisite potato. the milk and stock base for the soup. A bit of butter. And sprinkling the flour. Close to equal amounts. And I need to cook this, to cook out the flour, so that it will work to thicken the milk and take away the raw taste in the flour. Right now, the butter flour mixture smells almost like a shortbread cookie going into the oven, just that butter smell. I'm looking for a slightly nutty fragrance. So it'll just take a minute. So it smells almost like an almond shortbread. That's, that's the fragrance it has. Yep, there it is. That's the almond fragrance I'm after. So I add equal parts. First, the stock. A little bit at a time. And now the milk. Now I can add back those vegetables. It's almost like a vegetable stew. There's so many vegetables in there. Another signature chowder move of mine, fresh thyme. And as well as thyme, a little oregano. Mm, smells good. The bay leaf adds a nice fragrance that works well with the thyme and the oregano. And the last vegetable, a little frozen corn. I think it's to be expected in a chowder. We'll add the potato. 
I'll bring this up to a simmer, cook it until the potatoes are tender, season it, and then it'll be ready to serve. The gang will need some hearty fuel because I'm going to crush them at charades.